So I'm starting zero for the first time and what I've done is I've registered zero with the ATO and the software is ready to go from that perspective. So I've followed the instructions there. I'll do another video on that later. And I am about to trial a test tax return for the very first time, ABC Holdings Proprietary Limited. So I've entered the data in to the software I'm getting an error and I just want to show you the error that I'm getting and how to fix it so we'll click on this practice company I'm going to click on the return I'm going to click on CTR And you can see here that the draft return has been entered. I'm going to validate it. There's no errors. Excellent. So all this return have very simple company. In fact, all the company has is a bank account with some interest in it. That's all there was in the return. I kept it pretty simple for the first one. I just want to make sure that this is going to work properly. So I've started off in a very simple format. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click complete and this error comes up have a read of that we have this error so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to our settings so we're back to the main screen business settings client settings and agent I click my tax agent name then I come to a screen that looks like this now my name address phone number contact details are here I have blurred this out you won't see most of it but there's really not a lot to talk about here we'll scroll down a bit further and this is where you add your tax agent number I, I filled in my ELS profile because I have one, but don't think you need to do that anymore. It's not start your ABN. I put that in and then I followed this process. So I called the ATO on this number. I went through the identification process and I answered three questions. I gave them my registered tax agent number. I said the software provider was zero and then they asked me for this number here. Now at this stage to get rid of that error that we had before it is very important that you click this box. Now I did do this at the time and for some reason I don't know what gremlins in the system I came back later and it wasn't ticked but we need to make sure that this is ticked here and then we're going to go to the bottom of the page and we're going to click save so don't forget to click save at the bottom of the page. So we're now back in our original tax return at this screen. We're now going to click the complete button and it is now completed. So if you found this useful, like us on Facebook, join our website and enjoy the further discussions that we're going to have on zero taxation.